So you're thinking about using Discourse as a forum platform for your community, but is it the right choice for you? Well, I've worked with hundreds of different companies over the course of my career, and many of them have used Discourse, and I know it pretty in depth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this video down into five areas. We're gonna talk about ease of use, features, setup, integrations, and cost. I'm gonna share some thoughts on each of those different areas so you can make the right choice for you. So let's dig in. Now let's start out with ease of use. Now there's tons of forum platforms out there in varying levels of quality. And forums get kind of a bad rap because a lot of them kind of look like they were built in the 90s and then never really evolved. Look at all this shit. Are we in the 90s? Now I would say that Discourse is very different here. It's a very modern forum platform that was built from the ground up and it's been used in a variety of different settings. Developer communities, gaming, consumer, interest-based communities. It's been used in support communities. It's used in many different areas with many different use cases. And overall, I would say it's a pretty simple and easy to use platform. Now, one of the challenges with forums in general is you have to remember to go back and see what's new. You have to go to your browser tab and see what new conversations and discussions are kind of going on. This is less of an issue with platforms like Discord and Slack, where usually you're on mobile and a notification will pop up and pull you back in. Now, the folks at Discourse have made this easy with two key features. Firstly, you can switch on notifications. So a notification bubble will pop up when there's certain discussions going on and it'll pull you back into the forum. But also, they've got an iOS app and an Android app where you can point it to a particular discourse forum and again, it'll pull you back in and then you've got the benefit of mobile notifications. Now I've tried pretty much most forum platforms out there and as a general rule, I would say discourse is definitely on the more modern side and definitely on the easier to use side. The one caveat here though, is comparing it to something like a Facebook group, a very simple focused community platform that's really primarily focused on just a set of posts. Discourse is a little bit more complicated to use than something like a Facebook group, but it's a lot more comprehensive and a lot more flexible to use. So you kind of have a trade off there. Now let's talk about features. Now Discourse has a ton of features. It does all kinds of stuff. And I would argue it's probably the most featureful platform out there. But let me run through some of the standout features that I particularly like. Now, the first feature I wanna talk about is just discussions in general and having conversations in discourse. It's really, really well designed. Not only can you have really rich, deep conversations where you can embed pictures and you can have headings and you can embed videos. And even if you embed things like X links, it'll expand. But also you can add polls, you can use different emoji sets, you can reply really easily and message people and it pops up in their notifications. It's easy to like things. So the, the, the machinery and the mechanics of having a conversation are really, really well implemented in Discourse. Now, another feature that I love is gamification. Discourse have got an awesome feature built into it called the trust model. Now, the way this works is that whenever you go onto Discourse and you have conversations, they break your level of participation down into five areas. Like trust level zero is basically where you've just signed up and you haven't really done anything. Trust level one is where you've made a few little posts here and there. Trust level two is where you've been very, very active. You're posting, you're applying, you're liking things, people liking the things that you're doing. Trust level three is where you're very active and very involved in the community. And then trust level four is where you are manually added into that trust level, usually for the most active, the most engaged members of a community. Now, the thing I love about this is that with the exception of trust level four, which you manually add people into, Discourse figures out which of these trust levels you go into based upon a certain set of criteria. And that criteria is not like it used to be in the old days of forums, which was like the number of posts, which is stupid by the way. It's based upon a combination of posting and replying and liking things and having things liked and did you fill out your profile details and things like that. Now what's amazing about this is that it makes it really easy to take your whole community and break them into buckets of participation and that can influence what kind of community management you do. So for example, you can look at people who are in trust level two, who are people who are getting really pretty active and use that as an opportunity to reach out to them, to mentor them, to engage with them, to get them deeper into your community and maybe participate in a little bit more actively. Likewise, I could look at the most active members of your community and you can bring them into the fold and help them to make strategic decisions in your community to include them how you're building and growing your community or send them amazing swag. Now, this is a relatively unique feature. There are other mechanisms of doing this in other community platforms, but Discourse's implementation is particularly good. Now, another fantastic feature in Discourse are its plugins. This is where developers have created additional functionality that plugs into a core Discourse installation. And there are tons of them out there. For example, the Solve plugin makes it really easy for people to ask questions and then people to provide responses and to say that that solved the individual problem, a little bit like Stack Exchange and Stack Overflow. 
Another example is yearly review, where you can see an overall summary of some of the activity going on over the course of the last year. And another example is the subscriptions plugin, where you can sell subscriptions to individual groups within Discourse. Now, what I love about this is that these plugins mean that anything is really possible with Discourse, whether there are plugins that exist already, or you could go out there and hire a developer to build plugins specific to your needs. Now, another amazing feature in Discourse are the analytics, which really are best of breed for a couple of different reasons. Firstly, the analytics actually work. There are other community platforms out there where, frankly, the analytics kind of suck and the numbers aren't particularly accurate. Well, that was completely useless. But secondly, the analytics in Discourse are incredibly flexible. They look at the amount of traffic you get and how active your members are. You can go in and look at the most active conversations, the most active groups, the most active users. You can see the most popular conversations and discussions. It's really, really flexible in what you can, in what you can see. And this then means that you can be very data-driven in how you run your community and how you optimize and engage with your community. Now, another feature that they've added in recently is chat. And this is where you can have a combination of not just the forum view, where people will you know, submit posts and reply to posts, but also embedded chat conversations and discussions. And this is actually a really nice feature. It's relatively early. Uh, this only kind of came in in the last couple of years, but it's a really nice feature that's great for kind of bridging that gap between people who want to have more of a real-time conversation, as well as pe people who want to engage more in a traditional forum style. And then the final feature, I mean, this is not the final feature, there's tons of features out there, but the final one that I want to highlight here is moderation. Discourse is designed with scale in mind. Not only are there tons of tools for moderating different users and groups and sending warnings and things like that, but also Discourse is designed to kind of auto-moderate. That trust model that I mentioned earlier on as people go up those trust levels, well, that gives them automatic moderation abilities as they go into those higher trust levels. Now, you can switch this off if you don't want to do this, but what I love about this is that as people participate more in the community, it means that they naturally become moderators and it means that you can scale your community out much more significantly. So overall, when it comes to features, Discourse is awesome. There's tons of features. It's going to do the vast majority of things that you want it to do and a lot more that, frankly, you don't need right now, but you might need in the future. Now, if you want to build an amazing community around your product or service, you want to build consistent growth and engagement, you should totally check out my community, Leadership Core Accelerator. So we provide hands-on coaching, training, and accountability. It's all tailored directly to your company, and it helps you to deliver really clear, consistent results every single quarter with way less stress and anxiety. If you're interested in this, check out the link in the video description down there, where you can book a call with us, and we'll listen to what you want to achieve, what some of the challenges you're having, and we'll provide you some really concrete next steps in side of that call. Now let's talk about setup. How easy is it to spin up Discourse and get it up and running? Well, the good news here is that you have massive levels of flexibility. So first, if you just want to kind of plug and play, you can go and spin up a hosted version of Discourse in just a couple of minutes. And not only do the folks at Discourse have their own official hosting plans, but there are other companies out there that provide Discourse hosting too. But because Discourse is completely open source and you can download the code, you can run it from anywhere. So if you want to run it on your own systems and your own or your own cloud instances, you can do that. If you want to run it internally in your company, you can do that. You can really use Discourse in pretty much any way you want. So the summary conclusion here when it comes to setup is you basically have all of the flexibility in the world. You just need to decide, would you rather have it hosted somewhere else or would you rather host it yourself? Now, as a general rule, this would be my recommendation. Unless you have very specific reasons to host it yourself, um, and, and put it on your own cloud infrastructure or host it internally on-prem or whatever, I would recommend going with a hosted service and let them take over the hassle of keeping it up to date and making sure that it's secure. Now let's talk about integrations. How well does Discourse play with other tools, platforms, and services? Now again, because Discourse is open source, it means that you have massive levels of flexibility here because there are a ton of uh, tools that are supported right out the box. So for example, when it comes to sign-in, you can sign in with Google and Facebook and LinkedIn and Steam accounts and all, all kinds of different mechanisms to sign in, but you can also roll your own single sign-on provider if you want to. Discourse also has integrations in various other parts of the platform as well. For example, with Slack and WordPress and Google Analytics and lots and lots of other platforms. But again, because it's open source, if you want to build an integration through their API with your own tools and services or with something that isn't currently supported, you have the flexibility to do that. But if you're in a position where you need to integrate with another tool or platform, and there isn't a native Discourse integration with it, and you don't want to build your own with the API, the good news here is that Discourse is well supported in Zapier, which is an amazing platform for taking all kinds of different tools and services and clicking them together kind of like Lego bricks. And then finally, let's talk about the cost. Now, it's open source. It's completely free. 
right? So it's about as cheap as you're gonna get, right? You can download the code and you can spin it up and get it up and running. And of course, free to extend and improve in any way you see fit. But of course there is a cost to that, right? If you wanna run it yourself, you need to deploy cloud hosting or you need to run it on-prem. You need to make sure you've got all of the dependency chain up and running to run Discourse. So, you know, it's a bit of a lift to do that. Now, if you don't want to run Discourse yourself on your own hardware or your own cloud instance, then you're gonna to wanna to go with a hosted program. And there are a ton of different hosted services that are out there. Now, I would recommend you start out by taking a look at the hosting that's provided by the folks who build Discourse themselves. And I recommend this for a few reasons. One is that they know Discourse inside out. So therefore, they're gonna know exactly how to host it effectively and how to deliver the best possible service for their customers. But secondly, frankly, I want to support them building this amazing free open source software that's available for everybody else. So every dollar that you spend with the good folks at Discourse, having them host your community, means that that dollar is also going into developers building and extending and improving Discourse for everybody. Now the pricing for the official Discourse hosting, as I record this in December 2023, uh, plans start at $50 a month and they have additional, you know, more expensive plans that you're going to want to check out. But if you don't want to go with the official Discourse hosting, you can, you can go and check out a variety of different hosting providers out there who have different pricing plans as well. Okay, so what is my final conclusion when it comes to whether Discourse is the right platform for you, for your community? Well, it depends a little bit on who your target audience is, what you want to do for them, how you want to serve them, and what kind of functionality you want to offer inside of your community. But if I just look at forums in general as a category of community platforms out there, I think Discourse is one of the best in the business, if not the best in the business. I've been using it for many, many years the developers and the teams that have consistently delivered an amazing experience. It's very, very featureful. It's very, very comprehensive. It's completely open source, so it's enormously extensible. And it just can be applied in so, so many different use cases. So if you're thinking about a forum for your community, I would strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you take a look at Discourse. You must trust me on this. And with that, hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.